Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to use the VP Residence theme with the MLS Import plugin. The MLS Import plugin is a great solution to import properties from your MLS into your VP Residence theme. The MLS Import plugin works exclusively with Reso Web API and the entire implementation follows the Reso Dictionary standard. I will show how the MLS import plugin works on this domain where all the settings are already made and the import is already done. Here I have the MLS plugin already installed. This is the plugin. And in admin dashboard, you will have these two sections. First, I will go to the MLS import settings. Here I am already connected to the MLS. I have an account created and a token already added and you can see that the connection to my MLS was successful. I will now go to the next tab, select import fields. Here you will have the MLS default fields for the import and here you will be able to set the custom fields that you need. The fields here after the import will be added into the theme custom fields section and you will be able to find them in VP residence options general custom fields here you will be able to manage the mls custom fields using the team settings you will be able to change order rename and manage the fields as per your needs and the fields saved here can be used in the property search from the team i will go back to the mls interface and i will go to the mls import items here you will be able to add multiple import items and import the properties that you want from all active mls properties we already have an import item here now i will click add new and show the settings that you can make here you can add the number of properties that will be imported and you can set the import parameters. You can select the agent that will show for the imported properties. The emails sent from the agent contact form will go to the agent that you set here and all these agents can be added from the team options. You can select the property status on import, price range, you can make the import by city, counties, postal code, category, action category and other settings. I will go back to the list of import items and I will edit the import item that we used for the Oakland demo. So I will edit the import item and here you can see that we imported 100 properties. We selected an agent, we selected a price range, county, we imported only residential apartments. All the properties from the import have been saved in database and you will be able to find them under properties section. Also in the import item section you have this option enable auto update every hour if this option will be enabled then the properties imported will be updated with the mls changes for example if a property from the mls will be deleted the same will happen in your site next i will go to properties section i will show these are all imported properties and you will be able to use all theme functionality to change design and settings for example i will show one property in front end here we applied a custom template created with elementor to change the default property page design you will have full flexibility in creating the property page template that you need with the team existing options. Going back to the list of properties, you will see that the properties from MLS will have images as well, but these images will not be imported in the site. They will be displayed directly from each MLS content delivery network. Once the import is done, you will be able to use the MLS properties with all team existing features. You will be able to show them in team widgets like recent items widget also they will show on a search and you will be able to create properties list with the mls listings these are the general details on how to use mls import plugin next i will show how to proceed if you want 
to purchase the MLS import plugin, I will go to a domain where only the VP Residence team has been installed and no settings were made for the MLS import plugin. You will see here you will have a warning that the MLS import is one of the recommended plugins. So I will install first the MLS plugin. I will click install. I will activate the plugin and now I will see the two sections here just that when I go to the MLS import settings I will not have any credentials and in order to connect to MLS I will need to create an account and take the credentials from the MLS import domain. So the first step is to click create my account. You will be redirected to the MLS import domain and you will need to create an account. You can click login and here you will have the register option. I already have an account created, so I will just log in. The credentials that I used to log in in the MLS import domain will need to be added here to connect to MLS import. I will add my credentials, press save changes, and now I am connected to the MLS import. Next, you will need to add the API connection details that allows you to connect to your MLS to import properties. You have to get these credentials by yourself. I will go back to the MLS domain. I will go to the home page. First, you will need to verify the MLS list to confirm that your MLS has API access. As not all MLS provide API access, you will be able to check the list here. And also, you will be able to look for your MLS here. I will show an example. I will look for Stellar MLS. If you press on the result, you will find here all details and a video tutorial that will explain you how to get the API credentials. If you do not find the MLS here, you will be able to contact the MLS support team from the chat available in this domain. Going back to my account section, you will see that I already have a monthly subscription. You will need to purchase one as well to be able to use the MLS import plugin. I will go back to the home page of the domain and in pricing you will have the option to purchase the monthly subscription. The cost will be $49 but you will have a 30 days free trial included and you can cancel the subscription anytime that you want. I hope that you will find this video useful. Thank you for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.